Now we're gonna do this really cute Earth Day centerpiece. So here is, I'm gonna start with my mini Bodabra and my Bodabra hair bow tool and ruler. And this just slips right over the mini Bodabra. I'm gonna fold my wire in half and just tuck my Bodabra bow wire underneath the mini Bodabra so it stays out of the way. So get that tucked under. And then what I'm gonna do is put my making my bow first. I'm gonna put my tool, my burlap, right in here, and I'm just gonna measure it so it fits. There we go. So we're right now we're at about um, about just about three inches away on each each tail. Then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna make this kind of like we make our hair bow. So I'm gonna put a scrunch this in here. I'm gonna fold it over tuck this piece under and put that into my Bodabra. Then what I'm gonna do is measure out about one and a half inches on each side and that's my center and I'm just gonna put that down into my mini Bodabra. Then um, I'm gonna take this little piece of burlap and scrunch it in so that it matches um, the burlap that I'm gonna use in our centerpiece. Then I'm gonna just scrunch all that down, take my Bodabra bow wire, pull the two ends through the slip knot, pull it really tight while it's still in the Bodabra, pull it out, separate my ends, pull it real tight, and then bring it around to the back. And I'm going to Tie it off, tie a knot, and I'm going to just clip this right up at where I tied it, and I'll just fluff my bow a little bit, bring the ends down, and fluff the loops, and take my little scrunchy burlap and kind of make a little like flower sort of in the center. Then I'm gonna put this off to the side and I'm going to take a piece of burlap that's measured to fit around my mason jar. So if you're using a bigger mason jar, then you would want a bigger piece of burlap. And I've already cheated and I've stuffed this full of raffia and then I'm just gonna put my jar aside. Um, then what I'm gonna do now with this piece of burlap, I'm going to glue baby's breath onto the burlap. And the key is you want the top to be about the same sizes. So I'm just going to um, add some glue. Now this is on the back of my burlap. So I'm going to just glue the baby's breath. Now you could use fresh baby's breath or you could use dried, it doesn't matter. Um, and you just have to hold this down and it just makes sure that the glue is dry and the baby's breath is stuck to the back of your ribbon. Now just so that you don't have to watch me do the whole thing, I'm going to take my mason jar and move my mini Bodabra out of the way. And now what I'm gonna do is, um, I want the baby's breath to come right up, what, you can't see this. I want the baby's breath to come right up um, above, uh, but, so what I'll do is I'm gonna put a line of glue here, and then, now I wanna make sure that I have the stems of the baby's breath against the jar. So I'm gonna just glue this here and just to make it a little bit stronger, I'm gonna put some glue also around the mason jar as I wrap this around. Now what's really nice is we did this sort of as an Earth Day project, but depending on 
what um, you're celebrating. It makes a great, be wonderful for a rustic wedding. It could be great for pretty much anything. Um, and it, what's nice is you could change and you could use lavender. Um, so it doesn't have to be baby's breath, but I just love the way the baby's breath looks. Now what I'm gonna do, let's just dab a little bit more glue here. Next what I'm gonna do is take my bow that I already made and I'm just gonna glue, Put again, put a generous amount of glue here and just make, glue this on. And what I'm doing is gluing it right over where the, um, the seam is. And I have one last step which is that I'm going to turn on, now obviously we don't want to use a real candle when we have raffia, and just put this in and it will illuminate and give you a really, really pretty centerpiece. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can see our new videos when they come out and don't forget to like us on Facebook.